The Rabbit and Gina Podcast. So there's this thing that's been blowing up online. It's all over the talk. Oh. Yeah. And um, not that I am. I've just heard that it is. Yeah. And it feels like, like it's really taking off at the moment. But I feel like I've been witnessing it in this studio with you and Loz for a, a couple of years. Oh. Like I feel like you're ahead of this trend. Oh. What are we doing? With something you guys do. Oh. It just didn't have a title until now. Oh. And uh, everyone is uh, is getting on board this ridiculous thing. <laughs> it is called Girl Math. Uh, I knew Loz would know. I don't know. <laughs> Girl I knew, Math? Hey, you do it. You, you, you don't you even do know, know it. you do it. <laughs> Jen has been doing this for way longer yeah. than before Girl well, Math yeah. came around. Can it, you explain it, Loz? The way that I would explain girl math is looking at something, for example, and then it's like, oh, but for two days it's 30% off. And you go, okay, well, I need to buy it because I've made money and I've saved money, therefore makes sense, girl math. Oh. Okay, this is the nonsense of it. <laughs> okay. If you break that down, that makes no sense. But when when people are doing girl math, yeah. um, they're very convinced mm-hmm. in so their saving- own mind that they are saving money. Oh. You did it recently, actually. What with, did I do? There was something you bought in store and then you took it back and oh, you got something sneakers. else cheaper. Oh, you got it cheaper. What that's was right. It? No, I returned a pair of shoes that, yeah. uh, that I'd done a while. I bought a green pair of high heels. What, what was I thinking? Ooh. And I returned them and then I got a winter jacket yeah. for free. You did. Okay. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Okay. She did. <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> I didn't have to give them any money. It's for free. Yeah. No free. money. <laughs> but and but also- you bought it with the money that you bought the shoes with. So yeah. you still spent the money. No. no. <laughs> yeah, okay. You said- Girl math. <laughs> this is the thing. Yeah. Oh, it's so it funny. Great. And if you, for example, for some reason have cash in your wallet and you spend it, you haven't spent anything. Free. Okay, yeah. that's free. a big one. Exactly. Free. Cash yeah. is not money, apparently. Yeah. It's not. Because oh. you've already got it. Yeah. You don't even know. You spend it. That's you wouldn't right. know. It doesn't make any difference yeah. to your bank account. Nope. Yeah. None at all. Is essentially what, it's hilarious. Also, I think if you win money, like if you happen to win, oh, yeah. you wouldn't have that in the first place anyway. No. So I'll just go, No, I'll go with that one. It. I don't think that falls under girl oh, math. Oh, okay. I don't, that way makes way too much sense. <laughs> Let me just play a little something from, um, from Mixed Up Mum, Alyssa Davies, she sort of tries to explain it uh, online. Things that I know are very true in my mind, I could justify them all day and you will never win this argument. First up, if the Starbucks app is loaded, the coffee is free. If I didn't load it that day, it's free coffee. Second, if my favorite store is having a sale, I have to buy something or I'm actually losing money. <laughs> Three, cash is not real money. So if I buy something with cash, it is free. Mm-hmm. Four, Botox clearly counts as an investment in my future self. Boutique gym classes are also an investment because $45 to get yelled at for an hour is actually cheaper than $200 of therapy, and I can't do that every day. (laughs) This is just obvious girl math, but if I buy a $300 purse but I use it every single day, it's going to cost less than a dollar a day, which is basically free. (laughs) If we go on a girl's trip and we agree to split everything, that is budgeting. And also, if we're on that trip and we get free drinks from anyone or free entry anywhere, we actually made money. So we can spend more money the next day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That makes good sense. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so you go somewhere, you get a free drink, and then you buy one, you've gotten two for one. It's free. Wow. <laughs> uh, you can't just at any point go, it's free. It is. <laughs> I it just like went it. Too far. It's you said free. you bought one. You bought one of those drinks. Yeah, but not with it. But someone got me a drink already, so I made money from that, and then I've used my other money. So you're even. Oh, so I've broken even. Yeah, it's like I never spent a cent. <laughs> but what about the one you bought with your money? But, but I already got one. The next they one. got me one, so it's like I. Yeah. They, we just reimbursed each other more or less. It's free. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. And, the, and, the, and it's just the it's just the it's the shrug emoji that you do um, with your face and, and hands, and you go, it's free. Yeah. It is free. Yeah, just but, like but that. You, but you but you did spend money buying that that second drink. Not if it was cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Raps, you're not paying attention. <laughs> the Rabbit and Gina podcast. We went out Friday night. Um, I want to say we went out. I mean, we did. We really went out. Well, well ease up. Um, <laughs> we we all we started at the same time-ish. Yes. Yeah. We didn't all end at the same time-ish no, on all Friday different. night. All different times and 
different places. Uh, it turns <laughs> different out... Different results. Well. Different results. <laughs> it was quite the mixed bag. It was a big uh, station party thing uh, on, on Friday night. We got some um, we got some nice news on Friday. We so, did. Um, but anyway, look, we, um, it, was a, it was a good time. I... Um, I turned up um, not really happy with how I was smelling. You did smell. I didn't want to say anything. I know I did. You were sm- I touched no, you I and did. then my hand smelt. Yep. That's how smelly you were. Yeah. And, and then I was like really, <laughs> I was really aware of how it's much I smelled. Super self-conscious. Yeah. And, and it wasn't me that made me smell that way either. It was no. someone else. Made me smell this this way, and <laughs> it was just I was just uncomfortable. <laughs> like it was lucky that I had a plan to leave anyway. Like yes. I wasn't I wasn't going. On, I don't drink, and I I don't. I could see where the night was going, <laughs> um, and I'm happy to bail out of that early. Now uh, another great thing is my daughter's been watching footy with me lately, and and she was sitting at home waiting for me to watch the Bunnies Roosters oh, game. Oh yeah, that's a that's the greatest excuse ever. How'd you go? I didn't. I I don't even know. Let's not talk about care. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Slash care's not very nice. <laughs> well, you, you know. You say that. Well, it's, I don't, I like don't, that? I'm not into the footy that much. Yeah. Well, I'm not into your hair and clothes either. <laughs> I don't say I don't care. <laughs> Go along with you. Nod and just watch my eyes glaze over. <laughs> Same way you do when I talk about the, the bunnies. Yeah. No, the bunnies are, I think, uh, a caller earlier this morning, you said they've gone into early retirement oh, for, well. for the season. Yeah. Um, but that's okay, you know, we get a, we get a longer preseason, whatever. And you know. at least you didn't get hurt in the no last one, few games. No one's going to get injured this weekend, See? are they? Yeah. Win win. Oh, except possibly, you know. Um, Pride. I don't know. That, that takes a little <laughs> bit of a battering around this time as the other teams keep playing Maybe. on. Maybe. And that's exactly what I smelt like when I turned up to the station party on Friday night. I smelt like um, a footy player, I would think. You really did. What are you, what are you yang for, Loz? You did. Yeah, you did I smell did. a lot. I like, s- not a footy player slash locker room. Post-game or pre-game? <laughs> locker room. Yeah, <laughs> I just smelt like a footy locker room. So I went and got a massage. Um, a celebratory massage? That's a strange thing to say, isn't it? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I was, no, no, no. I was nice. just ready to unwind. Well, we, we had, we had oh. drinks and you have a celebratory massage. Yeah, everyone, you do you, boo. <laughs> exactly. Everyone celebrates anyway, in a different anyway, way. I got this massage and it was like deep tissue, like get on Ouch. in there. Like all them layers down. I'm so bruised and sore. Oh. And I'm going back today. God, I wish oh. I wasn't. I'm not looking forward to it. But it'll fix uh, the lower back. Oh, bad. Anyway, so um, <laughs> then she decides, uh, I'll just throw on a few of these um, patches. Mm. Uh, they're five bucks each. Here, here's four of them. Oh, what are you, what are you, just cover my entire back in the things? <laughs> Which you pointed out, you said, oh, you'll get yourself a free wax when you get exactly. home. Exactly. Did I what? Yeah, ouch. Holy moly. Oh. You should, you should get, today, get her to put a, well, yeah. I don't know how much hair you've got on your back. Different but. places, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the end, a couple more treatments and I'll have a beautifully waxed yeah. back. For cheaper <laughs> than going and paying for a waxing session. You're killing two birds with one stone, I was basically. killing many people on Friday night, I think, <laughs> via their nostrils. Oh, yeah. my God. I had to, every conversation I went into. You had to explain. It. Sorry, I smell like a footy locker room. I went and got a massage and we're in these patches things. And yeah. she said, don't take them off for like four hours. And I'm like, I'm going to a party in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, really, they were very it was so embarrassing. They were very and, and we're all having a laugh about it. But um, but then um, what I like to do when I leave a party, I've got two options. Go mm. around and say goodbye to everybody yeah. or smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. Now, I'm a very big smoke bomber. Me too. Um, but there were big cheeses that had come up from Sydney and everything. Mm, that's um, right. And, listen, uh, it, it, was, it was great to see them all, all all there. I didn't know, am I meant to, you know, do I go over and go, hey, great to see you, see you yeah. again next time and yeah. stuff. And But then everyone goes, where are you going? It's yeah. true. Why are you, Why are you leaving so leaving? soon? No, 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 no. <laughs> This is just Gina. I'm doing it at the moment. Oh, yeah. Raps, come here, tell him that joke. Come here, tell him that joke. You told me. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, no, I'm definitely going. And uh, a couple of people went, no, nah, smoke bomb. Just go. Just yeah, go I, th- I think that's it's best. Easiest Came thing. up with a great idea, though. We were like, let's take off a couple of my patches, these liniment or whatever they are, the deep heat smelling mm-hmm. smelling things, and just place them in places, places around <laughs> the room. Oh, so people think and you're still there. And then people be like, hey, where's Raps? I haven't seen. Oh, I can smell No, he's still here. <laughs> 
<laughs> generally, generally, that's not what you want when you leave somewhere. <laughs> is that people know you're still around because they can still smell you. <laughs> the Rabbit and Zena Podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.